Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see briefly the different types of database users. Based on their interaction with the database, database users are divided into two. The first is actors on the scene. Actors on the scene are the people whose jobs involve using large databases every day. Or in other words, I can say people whose jobs involve day-to-day -day use of a large database. Under that, we have four types of users. The first one is the database administrators. Then we have database designers, the end users, and finally, system analysts and application programmers, also called as software engineers. Next, we have workers behind the scene. Workers behind the scene are the people whose work is to maintain the database system environment. We have already seen a simple illustration of a database system environment in our previous video. These people maintain the database system environment, that is, they deal with the design, development and operation of the database system environment. And they are not interested in the database itself. Under this, we have the three types of users the system designers and implementers, the tool developers, and finally the operators and maintenance personnel. Let us look in detail the roles and the responsibilities of each of these database users. So first, let us look at the actors on the scene. Under this, the first type of database user that we have are the database administrators. Now, in any large organization, we might have many resources, and we always need a main person or a chief person or a manager to manage these resources. Similarly, in the database environment, we have database as the primary resource and database management system that is DBMS and its related software as a secondary resource. And it is the responsibility of a database administrator or a DBA to administer or to manage these resources, that is the primary and the secondary resources. The other responsibilities of a database administrator or a DBA are, they authorize access to the database, that is they can grant any user the permission to access the database. And the next responsibility of a DBA is coordinating and monitoring the use of database. Also, a DBA is responsible for acquiring or obtaining any hardware and software resources as needed. So these are the main responsibilities of a database administrator. The other responsibilities would be troubleshooting if any problem arises or to see if there are any security issues and so on. In a large organization, a DBA or a database administrator will have a support staff behind to help him with his duties and responsibilities. So that's about database administrators or a DBA and his responsibilities. Moving on to the next type of database users under actors on the scene, we have database designers. Database designers are responsible for identifying the data that we're going to store in the database. And based on this data that we're going to store in the database, a database designer should choose appropriate structures to represent and store this data. And a database designer is also responsible for communicating with the database users and try to understand what their requirements are. And based on their requirements, a database designer designs a database. Now, these database designers, they interact with each group of users and develop views for each of these group of users based on their requirement. We have already seen what a view is in the previous video. A view is a subset of the database. It is derived from the main database and it only contains data that is required by a particular user. So database designers develop views for each group of users and then each view is linked with the views of other group of users and that final database design should fulfill the requirements of all the user groups. And that is about database designers and his responsibilities. Now let's look on to the next type of database user, the end users. End users are the people whose jobs require access to the database for querying the database to get any data that they want or to update the database to bring in some changes and for generating reports. 
Now let's look into the categories of end users. The first one is the casual end user. A casual end user accesses database occasionally. That is, they access the database not very frequently, not very regularly or not on a daily basis. They access the database only when they want to query some data or if they want to update the database or for generating reports. And usually the middle or high level managers or the top level managers or other occasional browsers come under this category. The next category of end users are the naive or parametric end users. Most of the end users come under this category and these end users constantly query the data from the database and also updates the database for any changes using canned transactions. Now what are canned transactions? They are the standard type of queries and updates to query the database for some data or to update the database for some changes. Like for example, a reservation agent for probably airlines or hotel or train or bus. As per the request from the customer, they check the availability and make reservations. On a daily basis, they use similar set of functions to make reservations or to check for availability. And so they have a predefined set of queries or a standard type of queries to query any data that they want or for updating the database for some changes. The next category of end users are the sophisticated end users. Sophisticated end users are the engineers, scientists, business analysts and any other users who are familiar with the DBMS or the database management system and the facilities that the DBMS provides. They develop their own database applications to meet their requirements. And then we have the standalone users. These users maintain personal databases by using ready-made program packages. Now, for example, a person running a business would like to keep track of his personal financial data for tax purposes. So for that, he maintains his own personal databases using the ready-made packages. And these ready-made packages would be either menu-driven or graphic-based interface. So that's all about the end users and the categories of end users. The casual end users and the naive or parametric end users don't know in detail the DBMS facilities, whereas the sophisticated end users are experts or know much about the DBMS facilities to satisfy their requirements. And the standalone users are experts in the ready-made packages that they use. Now, the next type of database users are the system analysts and application programmers or otherwise called as a software engineers. The system analysts determine the requirements of the end users, especially the naive users or the parametric end users, and then develop specifications for canned transactions. We have already seen what a canned transaction is. So a system analyst, based on the requirements of the end users, will design these standard types of queries. And an application programmer is responsible for testing, debugging, documenting, and maintaining these scanned transactions that are developed by the system analysts. These system analysts and application programmers are called as software engineers. And they have to be experts or completely familiar with the facilities provided by the DBMS. Next, let us see the types of database users under workers behind the scene. We have already seen initially that workers behind the scene are the people whose job is to maintain the database system environment. And these people, they are not interested in the database itself. That is, they work behind the scene. And the types of database users under them are the first one is system designers and implementers. These are people who design and implement the DBMS modules and interfaces as one software package. A DBMS is a very complex software system which consists of many modules like modules for implementing the catalog, for processing query language, for controlling concurrency, handling recovery of data and security, etc. So the system designers and implementers have to design and implement all these modules and interfaces as one software package. Next, we have the tool developers. They are persons who design and implement tools, which is nothing but the software packages. And these software packages are optional and can be purchased separately to help improve the performance of a database system. 
The next type of database user that we have under workers behind the scene are the operators and maintenance personnel. They are responsible for the actual running and maintenance of the hardware and software of the database system environment. So these are the types of database users under workers behind the scene and they are involved in making the database system available to the end users, but they do not use the database for their own purpose. With this, we come to the end of this video. Hope you have understood the different types of database users that we discussed in this video. Thank you.